Has anybody watched How to Be a Millionaire? So I have a, I have a, a joke. We, um, I'm a very lucky guy. Number one, I have my family, my staff, my clients, and my banker sitting with me under my table. So when you have a lifeline, I always call my banker. Good evening. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, it's an honor, a pleasure. Lina, thank you very much. Lina, um, for those of you who know, Lina now operates our division in Miami. Um, when we called upon her to come to Philadelphia, she understood the importance of our community, of the Latino community in Philadelphia, and she immediately jumped in a plane and came to Philadelphia to be here with us tonight. Thank you, Lina. I would, like, I would also like to thank my staff, my entire team. Uh, this would not be possible if it wasn't for them. Uh, my team for Hispanic media that are here today, Perla, Alexander, Anna, Marilyn, Jose, our photographer, uh, Vicente, and everybody. I don't want to dismiss or miss anybody, but thanks to the entire staff of Grupo Bogota. And also thanks to our sponsor, this would not be possible if we didn't have the support of our community, of our partners. Today we have Amar Health Mercy, uh, Caritas of Companies, we have APM, Asociación de Puerto Rico and Marcha, and of course we have Roger Wilco. So tonight it's, it's a beautiful night where we unite under one umbrella. And under one umbrella we unite to celebrate who we are. Latinos, we are Hispanics, we are Puerto Ricans. As Lina mentioned, we unite to connect. As a newspaper, our number one job is to connect, to educate, and to bring everybody together. And as I look around the table, I think we have done an amazing job to see such a family of the newspaper here tonight. So why don't you give yourself a nice round of applause. We have a great program today. We have entertainment, the Latino style. We have food as always, and we have great wine to celebrate. But as we move forward, it's important for us to understand who we are, where we are, and how do we move forward. And it wasn't long ago. In fact, in 2009, Latinos in the community were still invisible, invisible to the community around us. In fact, in just two, two or three years, we have zoomed into the country's consciousness. We have recently zoomed into the consciousness of Philadelphia. We became an overnight, an overnight sensation, but both you and I know that that took some work. It took some leadership to get everybody to notice us, to notice the, the great people, the wonderful leaders, and the people that work around here in Philadelphia that brought us together. That was done with the work of everybody. Part of this is because we helped Philadelphia gain its status quo one more time. And Philadelphia became a major player one more, one more time in the country because of the 2000, after the, after the 2010 census, Latinos gave the Philadelphia the first increase in population since 1950. That's an important number, people. Please give yourself a round of applause. We did it. We did it without you. We, we, we did it. We all did it. You did it. And we did it. Philly has made another, because of this, Philly has gained another congressional district. And we saved the uh, councilmatic 7th district without any gerrymandering. And we, we secured another four legislative districts statewide, where we before, where we only had one before. And none of this would have happened if it wasn't for the enduring empowerment of the Latino press. We have been reporting and supporting the, the we have been reporting and supporting our fellow Latino professionals as they grow in our community. In 2009, our first guest speaker, Nilda Ruiz, who have not get steady news coverage outside of the Latino area. Today, she 
and 8 p.m. and her mission is our embrace in major TV station, news channels, and newspapers all across. But it was a Latino press who got, who got her here first. Let me tell you a little bit about this dynamo, Nelia Ruiz, so I call my friend. 